hello everyone thank you for tuning in i am jay lee this is jay lee's corner and this is another edition of car conversations on jay lee's corner okay i hope everybody's having a great thursday um i'm gonna be live today i think at nine i don't think you'll see this <laughs> Before then, because Black Ink Crew usually always gets flagged, you know? But it's just a conversation because I'm done reviewing Black Ink Crew, both Compton and New York. Um, it's just like, well, first things first, if you have not done so already, please take a moment to subscribe to my channel and fuck up my whole chamber, chamber. Da, 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 and all that goodness okay like comment share subscribe um all that follow me on ig at j underscore leaves underscore corner and stuff so i watched black and crew new york and compton okay i watched them both today i was bored i was bored okay from start to finish and I didn't even, I wasn't even, I took a, a couple notes for New York. And then by the time I got the content, I was like, I don't feel like using my fingers to type of no notes for this messery, okay, up in this dancery. I was like, it's just, I don't know what, I, girl, there are just better shows on. And I mean, the views for Black and Crew are just not even worth the headache. So I'm done. <laughs> what the wholeness of it? I'll tell you, know, like the whole thing when C's come in, like what happened at the lock in or whatever, and down like, oh, we was all cool, chilling or whatever. And then London was talking a little bit too much, and then Chris wanted to fight, and then it was I'm like, that don't even happen. But I don't care. But I feel like they feel like oh, it's a, it's a successful show. People watch. So we don't have to put forth any effort to make the show better. And the show was crappy. Like, if they do one tattoo episode, maybe. Okay? Maybe. Then, even with that, it'd be like, oh, that's behind us because something happened on now. Let's kind of have a tattoo tied into um, what the show was going on on the show. It's just, it's too staged. It's too staged, and I don't like it. I don't like it at all, okay? And then, you know, Kip, like, I'm like, it's it, mixing the serious stuff with the jokey stuff and the petty stuff. I don't like it. So, you know, I don't care. Donna was lying. I'm like, she want to fight me, girl. No, Donna, you was messing with London, and Chris was just trying to stand up for you, stand up for London, even though London was one. But yeah, and it, was, it wasn't as if it was innocent. I don't care. You know, Donna talking about she ain't got no money to pay them taxes, so now she gonna drive people around. I ain't seen that man lift or Uber sign on her car. Donna right picking up strangers. Donna a jitney cat. Okay, she you up here making free money that you gonna owe money on, girl. Get you a job with W two that you paying some taxes on. But I digress. And then I'm like, who out here doing Uber or Lyft or picking up people and your dog in the car all free willy nilly running around pissing on seats? I'm like, we don't want that. I don't want no driver with a dog that's next to me and like, I'm allergic to dogs. Oh, you'll be okay? No. No. I won't be okay. I'm allergic, Donna. I don't like it. And then I'm like, how did she end up going to get walked? Oh, so really? Not walk in the car cracking jokes. Well, should have been holding a dog. That's what should have been happening. But again, it was it's stupidness. And I'm like, it's not entertaining. Because to me, it don't make no sense for someone to be driving Uber or Lyft or whatever service you have in your state or city. I'm pretty sure it's Uber or Lyft. Okay. Um, well, you got a, a, a loose dog in the car. I'm sure Donna ain't got no insurance. Okay. That's a rental. That's an Airbnb vehicle. Okay, but I'm not gonna I'm gonna leave it at that. You know, talk to go to court. I can look, I'm being careful, y'all. I'm not I'm, I'm like in trap pushing. Leave me alone. Talk to go to court because you know what I'm saying, she on drugs or whatever, because that's how why would you get pulled over with drugs in the car? So, you know, she go to court, the case wasn't dropped. She gotta go back to court in a couple weeks. Oh my god, oh my goodness, oh my goodness. She has Ted and uh, Kit Kat bar go with her and they go back to her house 
went to her house, her parents' house, because Tati lives with her parents. And I'm like, oh, all that mouth, when you were in a couch on your parents', couch, your parents house, you can't have all that mouth with a, you, if you're a couch renter. That ain't how it go. Not at all. But whatever, I digress, okay? And she, I don't know what to do, you know. I was living here to save money, you know. Now I can't save money because I got attorney fees. I'm like, what kind of money is y'all making on this show? What kind, you ain't doing no, no hosting gigs? Nothing? Okay. I don't really care. Tati, I don't, I look, Tati may have to do like 18 months here or there. She may have to do like some, some, um, some, um, drug rehabilitation stuff or whatever. I don't, I don't think nobody should have to go to jail. You know what I'm saying? Unless they done a real crime and I'm still like, you know what I'm saying? For the most part, drugs ain't no big deal to me. Um, but I don't like Tati. So whatever happens in her case, she deserve it, okay? If whatever, if whatever she get, unless it's nothing, that's what she deserves. She deserves whatever she get, except nothing. Nothing's the only thing I want except that she'll get, okay? Anyway, I'm gonna make this the side. And you know, I'm just, girl. So you know, London come back to the shop, talking about she don't be fighting with people. She be using her word because she's a, a therapist, okay? Then why you working at Black Ink? That's an oxymoron. You know, you can't, you, you ain't no words up in there. They can barely speak the proper English if you ask me. It's always, yeah, we ain't got time for I don't fight. Well, you should not be working at Black King or on Black King Crew, New York on VH1. That's just stupid. You know what I'm saying? And then Kit Kat bring up how, oh, well, I'm still dealing with my mom. Again, it's the f- fugaziness of it with the realness of it. But she's like, we're going to, you know, my mom's hometown in Memphis to spread her ashes or whatever. So she say he'll pay for the Airbnb and they can make it a work trip. I said, a work a work trip to spread ashes? I said, you know what? C's don't use the brain or the lips that God gave him to speak and think of smart things. I'm like, that's not a work trip. That's not. That should not have been. That should have been. Okay, only the people you cool with gonna go. Everybody else should stay here. Okay, here. But no, that ain't what happened. You know, what I'm saying C it was a C's. Put my kid tail in the C's and talk to y'all go. Okay, then this big fancy mansion with a maid in the old time maid outfit, a maid outfit from the nineteen sixties or whatever. Um, and a butler. Who got them some drinks? I'm like, whatever. And for the most part, it, you know, I don't care enough to even keep talking about it. Walt tells some jokes. Okay, he had a whole little comedy show. Whatever. Donna and his girlfriend made up. It was what it was. Uh, Crystal talked to Donna and they squashed they beef because it was petty. If, if you ask me, she did tell Donna like you was trying to be a bully or whatever. And Donna was like. Well, London don't stand up for herself because you will, that's that's the definition of a bully. You mess with somebody who you know won't stand up for themselves. That's what bullies do, Donna. Dumb, dumb, diddy, dumb, dumb, Donna. Okay, whatever. And then you know, over there in Memphis, you know, Ted flirting with with, with uh, London because he wanted to be with her because again, she the new vagina in the office, and that's what happens. That's what Ted does. He t- he gets with the next person. So he like, if it ain't enough rooms in the house, you can stay in my room. She like, um, oh, boy, whatever. So they go see the the museum, the, the hotel where Dr. MLK um was uh was killed at and everything. And for me, I felt like y'all are not. This show was too messy for that much of realness. I feel like they tried to do the same thing they did in Chicago when they went down to um the Carolinas or whatever, whatever I don't know, it was north or south. Um. And went to a plantation. But I don't like the, <laughs> the New York people enough to feel like I couldn't take it serious. Because I'm like, right before y'all go there, y'all was dogging people. And then I'm like, and after y'all gonna dog people some more. You can't be, you know, in one split second, oh yeah, being here makes me think about how much we, you know, how far we came and like, oh, we should be this and we should be that. You don't mean it. So I don't want to hear it. The only real part that I appreciated was uh, London saying how it did make her realize that, you know, because her mom is black and her dad is white, you know, because they didn't like, they they did not like, you know, people mixing and matching back then, you know, she could have not been born. So I'm like, that's true because it was very possible. Okay, but other than that, I ain't care. They go to a little restaurant or whatever, a little 12 pound burger had to be eaten. That Kit Kat was going to eat when she didn't eat it. London keep asking about, oh, are we going to see more, no, we're going to see, you know, um, buildings or whatever to have a shop here. 
can't get pissed off. I told y'all this whole this whole day is about my mama. I'm like, what y'all been doing stuff all day? Okay, okay, I'm gonna give her that because that's what it is. But at the same time, it ain't that sick. Like you wasn't talking about your mama that and that and, and right there in that moment, you was eating some eating a burger, laughing, chit chatting, and shit. I'm like, it's, uh, I just you know. Ted contact up for him because time like yeah, that I can't believe you. Try to go outside somewhere. Oh, really, Ted? Really, Ted? Because Ted already told them London gonna stay in my room, so Tati already had feelings. Mainly because Tati realized she is the new Jada. Because last season when Ta when Ted was messing with Jada, and then she got hired, and all of a sudden he was dogging Jada and pumping up Tati. That's what Ted do. Ted takes up for whoever the new girl is, and then they start dating. Cause they feel special. Oh my god, they not been watching the show. Have yeah, they not? But I mean, you're, I, I check of the check. Anyway, so Kit Kat then go to her mama's old house to show seeds and everything, you know, because she wants a piece of her mama. She gets to where the house is, and the house is gone. The house has been torn down, and now she's sad because, like, I feel like you know, another part of my, you know, my mom that I can't get back. So she's of course devastated and everything. She gets in the car. And she called her dad's calling. Her dad's calling and say he can't come down there because he can't handle it right now. So again, she's just devastated. So you know, she says, "How you know it's a this pain I have, this heartbreak I have. Like I can't fix it. And I don't know what to do." And you know, just when you lose a parent, there's you just you literally have to just go through it. There's no fixable thing to do. There's nothing to fix it because nothing can bring that parent back. All you can really do is work through it. Kid, I, I think Kid's issue is she isn't really grieving. She's trying to stay strong. And sometimes, you know, staying strong don't help. Staying strong keeps you hurt. Because when you keep thinking about it, it makes you hurt. So you kind of you keep suppressing it. I want Kid to be able to not suppress her pain and just express it. And have a way she needs to express it. You know what I'm saying? Um, because it's just hard. I, I, I know from experience. So, you know, that was really it with that whole thing. Um, girl, I didn't care. And then, even on Black King Crew, Compton, you know, was the one serious thing of K, not KP, of, of uh, Lemire and Danielle and them, the baby, which we like, we hope the baby's going to be okay. You know what I'm saying? And not born, you know, permanent, permanently disabled. But we don't know yet because the baby's not born yet. And... I don't like the girl, the Ayana girl. That may not even be her name, but I don't like her. I think she's too young to be on there. I like the producers or the, the directors. Somebody on the show must have said hire her because we want somebody here with big boobs. All y'all, all the girls here boobs are little. We need a big boob girl, and so they hired this little girl. Okay, and then you know when she was like, I can't believe Voodoo in here act like she, you know, she using a banana to act like she's sucking on some dick. I, that's unprofessional. But your titties out. You went on a job interview with your titties out. Girl, shut up. Hypocrite. Hush up, puppy. Okay? I'm not angry time for it. Um, Tim, who in a bad mood because his friend get killed? I'm like, for y'all to say Compton not dangerous, somebody got killed every episode. Anyway, um, Lemire talked to KP and, and he, he tells him, like, what's going on? Like, you know, my kid may be born, you know, disabled. You know, that's hard. So, we go, I'm going to things at home. And it's true. It's true. Lemire acting not because what he going through at home, he don't know what to do with himself. Okay, and he probably high. Let's just say that as well. And let's not let's also bring up the fact that KP isn't that much of a good boss. He may not know how to run a business. I think people feel like, okay, just because you have the money to open a business does not make you a good businessman. Okay, if it's not being ran properly. But we have to remember this is a TV show. So, I mean, I feel like what Lemire is saying has some, has some validity to it. KP don't fully know what he's doing. He don't. Because if he was, he would not have hired a young, your little young self. And again, Voodoo had a reason to be pissed because Voodoo been tattooing longer than Ayana. That's stupid. That's ass backwards. But, you know, I just work here. You know, I, I, I you know, so I can't, I can't, I, I might, I'm not even going to watch the rest of the season for either of these shows, I may check in with Black Ink Crew Compton if it gets to season two to see if it grows a little bit. If they look at how the show was bullshit now and they fix it later, you know, I may be able to tolerate it. But I'm like, it's just, it's the same stuff. I, I, I don't like it. I don't. 
then you know the end of the episode well not even the end the ayana girl get mad because she had a tattoo client who as she said i'm a tattoo artist i'm a tattoo artist you know voodoo doll is only an apprentice but you get there and your equipment your equipment don't work and voodoo had your same type of you know battery pack or whatever and voodoo said no you cannot use my battery pack no you're an artist it's up to you to have your equipment working before your client gets here you was not prepared before your client got here. So, you know what I'm saying? Leave me be. I'm not, I, I don't have to help you. I wouldn't help her ass either. Period. Okay? So, because she bad, because, you know, she couldn't, she didn't help her. Ayana go home and said she Googled Voodoo and found some, um, she found some pictures that she took when she was, like she was maybe before. And she, she did some modeling shots for like some kind of, you know what I'm saying, men's magazine or, you know, some kind of site. Okay, those, those, you know what I'm saying, ad types of, whatever. Who cares? But we all know that Voodoo is not ashamed of her body. But Ayana takes the photos of the Voodoo doll and brings them to, to the office or to the tattoo shop and shows Tim and Drippin'. I'm like, who does that? And they like it's like naked photos that's, you know, on the, on the net or whatever that she took screenshots of. And I'm like, I just, she said I have a vagina. And so are you on this show but i digress so when they set up a whole little you know um team photo that lamira also shows up to um doll tells kp how you know she didn't like how when she's saying that the girl did a tattoo but she left her, her stuff messy she left glue like ink everywhere she had to wipe the chair down it was just nasty okay it was just nasty so Ayana here talking about that. Oh, well, you, you, what about you? And she then has still shot photos of the photos that Doll had took, and she's torn, throwing them all around, showing her. I'm like, really? And KP like, what's what's going on here? What is this? We gotta talk about. It. I'm like, any, and I'm like, KP, you have daughters. You all, ha you have daughters and a whole girlfriend. How would you feel if somebody? Did that to your kids. I'm, I just can't. I cannot take. I cannot take the dudes on the shot being jerks to the females. Because even when Voodoo was upset about, you know, KP picking a girl to be a tattoo artist when she's been working longer than the girl, and KP like she don't like it. You know, I ain't got time for this. This is. I'm like, again, you don't know how to run a business. Sometimes it's not about about it being a dictatorship, but at least then you know what? What makes more sense? Even if it's your business. It is your business. But, I mean, I just got, I can't, I can't, I can't. Both shows are aggravating. And because they come on back to back, it's even more aggravating. Maybe if they did, did not come on on the same day, I wouldn't be so aggravated because I have a break. But I'm like, no. So, I already gave up on Basketball Wives. I'm done with both of these shows so i'm gonna have a whole day free <laughs> because i just can't i need to focus on content that doesn't anger me and i was watching um ashley miller you know who's also a youtuber and she had made a video about basketball wives and she has reviewed basketball wives in a couple of seasons or whatever and i liked something she said I, and, this, and this made me make a decision on black ink crews um because i already i had already made this decision on that's my wife's. But she said the reason she stops reviewing it was because when she was watching it, it was more aggravating to her than than enjoyable. She found herself like just being more mad about having to review it and being and dreading. Like I be dreading watching this show because I'm looking like who gonna piss me off now? And I don't get any, I don't get any enjoyment off either show, off either show. Even with Love and Hip Hop, I get a bit of enjoyment. Okay, because love and hip hop, it'd be touch and go or whatever. Um, with basketball wives, it was touch and go. You know, I gave up, on, I'm giving up on basketball wives because the um, Tammy left, Tammy left, and the, the reunion crap that happened. I'm like, I don't have time to be trying to, you know, what I'm saying, sit up here watching just Shawnee and Evelyn and all, and Evelyn and 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 Furby and um, Malaysia old monkey sales. I ain't got time for that. I don't, I don't have time for it. So I'm like, I'm, I have to do the same thing with. A man likes them with um black and crews, both of them. And I do like black and crew Chicago, but mainly because usually it's some kind of entertainment 
on the episodes. I'm less aggravated when I'm watching the Chicago one. I'm completely aggravated watching the the New York and and the Compton one. The tweets don't even be interesting. I'm like, when this is show one, and it, they don't even have interesting tweets. You know it's a crappy show. Because you, you know what I'm saying? It, I, I just don't have time. It's too many other good shows on that I can try to find and review and watch. Um, or I just give more time to my other shows so I can edit things better and get more rest versus trying to review shows that piss me off. I'm like, this, it was two crappy hours. Two whole crappy hours. And every time I see people complain about, you know, Black and Crew, at least Black and Crew New York, the first thing they all say is, but look at our ratings. Because people is watching it, but still pissed off. So, I can't watch it. I'm done. You know what I'm saying? I hope y'all can stick around for some other kind of review that I'm going to do. I'm going to look into other shows, as I said. But, I mean, that was all for Black Ink Crew. I, I may check in again to see about Lemire and the Baby. I want to see that. But, I'm going to for that. I'm, no, I'm not. I'm going to look at I'm gonna look at the dang on uh, tweets. I can just go right to the hashtag and see what's going on. I don't have to watch the dang on show. I can get it from the tweets. Or I watch Bond because I know Bondy still review it. I think she do. Um, and so does Alex. And I think uh, Assy does too. So I don't have to watch it. I, I can't. <sighs> anyway, y'all, I'm done. I've been rambling by now. So everybody have a great, great day. I, y'all should make it this on Friday. I'm not sure. <laughs> we shall see. All right. Peace.